Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, AppLocker uh, in group policy. So I've got a YOU called SOC, which I've created. And what I've done is I've just gone in here and right-clicked here and created a GPO in this domain. And I've linked it. And um, I've done that, and I've called it AppLocker GPO. It's OK there. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure that the GPO is going to be enforced. So I'll right-click that and um, click Enforced. And um, then if I um, right click it and um, see, I can see that the, the GPO is now being enforced. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, go and I'm going to edit this uh, GPO. And um, what I want to do is I want to go into um, computer configuration, policies, Windows settings, Security settings, and I'll just um, make this a bit bigger. And I'm going to go to um, and system services and application identity. And um, I'm going to double click application identity. And I'm going to go and tick the define this policy setting and make it automatic. Hit apply and hit OK. So um, what that means is that it's going to apply application identity service, which is essentially uh, my app locker. Um, in this um, to any any computers that are associated with this um, with this GPO. So now I'm going to go to uh, application control policies and app locker and um, and I'll expand it. And here I've got um, executable rules. Windows installer rules, script rules, and package app rules. So I'm going to ex executable rules. And um, with executable rules, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in there and uh, create default rules. And so now I get my, um, my default rules in App Locker. So what have I got? I've got allow everyone in the program files, allow everyone in the uh, Windows folder, and for built-in administrators, I've got um, default rule all files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new rule and yep, yep, so let's go next. Permissions, so I want to deny, I'm going to deny everyone and I'm going to go next and I'm going to select path, go next and uh, the path I'm going to go to is I want to block the um, a particular file, so I'm going to block the calculator. So I'll go browse and I'll go to C program files Actually, I'll go to um, Windows. System 32. And calc.exe. So I'm going to block the calculator. I'm going to go next. And, and I can add an exception if I want to. I publish a path or file hash, but I'll leave that. Then I'll go to next, and I'll just say um, I'll calculator, and then create. So I've got to deny for everyone on the calculator. Okay, so I'm going to block this calculator. So what I want to do now is I want to have a look at my um, where this GPO is applied. So if I 
minimize the GPO and I'll go to SOC. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll go to um, uh, Tools and I'll go to Active Directory Users and Computers. And go to SOC. And you can see here I've got this in SOC, I've got these users, but also got this Win11 client computer, which is my um, Win11 client computer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in. Yeah. So I'll Zoom client, which is on the domain. And I'm going to see if I can um, run the calculator. So I'm on my client computer. And I'm just going to make sure that, first of all, I can connect to my domain controller. So I'll just go ping. Yep, that's my domain controller. OK, so now I'm going to do a uh, GP update slash force just to um, update um, group policy. Yep, and I've done a policy update. All good. So now I'll try and run the calculator. Calculator app. Here we go. And here we go. This app has been blocked by your system administrator. Contact your sysadmin for more info. Okay. So basically, what AppLock has done is it's blocked the calculator app from um, using that uh, group policy that we specified um, in our. Um, in our domain controller. So when this client is um, accessed the um, domain, uh, it's been placed into the um, the SOC OU and um, that group policy has been applied to this particular computer. Thanks for watching.